The revised formula works perfectly. It passes through clothing and is readily absorbed through the skin and eyes. Gas masks are useless. The results are horrifying. Combined with the cloudburst, the potential is world-changing and lucrative. Yet, Dr. Crane remains uninterested in commercial opportunities. He intends to squander our work, my work, on a vendetta. It's time to dissolve our partnership. I should leave Gotham before his return. When Dr. Crane approached me, I thought the man had finally realized the value of his chemical expertise. But no, he's still scarecrow to the bone. The man invents a formula that could cure depression, turn an entire army upon itself, and he uses it to frighten people. Fine, Dr. Crane. I'll keep working on your cloudburst, but I'll keep working on your toxin as well. I'll show him there's money to be made here, one way or another. Accessing research user ID, Sarah, Simon, September, 20th. <laughs> Make it stop! Human testing has not been the breakthrough I hoped for. I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> the cloudburst works perfectly, though I've temporarily obscured that fact from Dr. Crane. I must perfect his formula myself first. Daniel, would you like to go home? Mild terror, permanent damage, uh, not good enough. Fear toxin may be dangerous for you and your loved ones. Prolonged exposure to fear toxin may induce episodes of extreme psychological trauma. <laughs> I'm telling you, Max. They just keep making this stuff sound better and better. Alfred. Stag and Scarecrow were working together on a project codenamed Cloudburst. But if that's the case, sir, why is Scarecrow attacking Stag? Stag must have double-crossed him. He's here for the device. I'm giving you remote access to Stag's computer network. Search for anything related to the Cloudburst. I need to know what it is. As you wish, sir. <laughs> 